Let's start with your reading, Leo. Today, we are going to look into your recent past, current energies, and near future. And then we will immediately clarify in order to find out more information about your messages. Let's start right away with your reading. All right. The main energy for the reading is the Eight of Wands. The whole reading seems to be revolving around communication. Whether you are waiting on communication to come in from someone or whether there is something that you want to say, something that you need to get off your chest, but that you cannot find the words to say it. This is the card that talks about go time, but it's currently hard to do because someone seems to be focusing on the wrong aspect of this. Not sure what that means yet, but we'll find out with the next few messages. So let's see what this Eight of Wands is about. First of all, in your recent past, we have strength and the tower reversed. From the past, the main thing we see is a specific event, something that was done or something that was said, which you, you resented. There is resentment building up here, an unexpected change which definitely hurt someone's pride. It's as if as soon as you found out about this, you stormed out of the door, deciding to not even asking for clarification on what happened, deciding instead that you've seen enough. And the best thing to do was to immediately put some distance in between you and that person, you and that situation. The only solution here for you was to stay strong and hold back your feelings and your thoughts because you didn't even want to talk to this person. Maybe you left or you blocked them. Something has happened here and it definitely changed the course of events. Now, in the current energies, we have the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Wands reversed. Where do I start? And I don't mean where I start. This is what you're thinking right now. There is something you need to do, but you have no idea how to initiate this at all. You seem to be stuck at the moment because on one hand, you want to talk. You want to set the record straight. But at the same time, you don't want to be the one to make the first move. It's a complicated situation to be in because you are pushing away the only thing that will help you clarify, that will help you resolve an issue. But we'll see what else is going on around you at the moment, which you might not be aware about. There's actually a lot, but we'll, we'll see when we clarify. Now, in the near future, Ace of Swords and the Fool. With this Fool card, we see that in the near future, you're going to experience a total energy reset. In fact, the Ace of Swords here, cutting out toxic people, toxic situations, and toxic thoughts as well. It's as if you've just let go of a huge rock, a rock that you were carrying around with you, and now you feel lighter. Your posture has changed. Your perception of the situation has transformed, and you just feel better, happier. Sometimes we hold back and internalize feelings and emotions, and we don't realize that if we just let them out and let them be what they're meant to be, we would do ourselves a huge favor. We'll see what this is. All right, let's start clarifying Leo and let's begin with your recent past. Queen of Swords, the Empress, okay and the Nine of Swords over here with the Ten of Wands. Here is where you collected all the baggage that you have been carrying around all this time. You were definitely 
you are definitely more disappointed than you've even admitted to yourself here. Disappointed in the other person for whatever it is that they have done, but also a little bit disappointed at how much you let yourself believe in this, right? How much you actually have opened up to this. The first thing that I want to say about this is don't be too hard on yourself. With the Queen of Swords over here, you're just really uh, being too logical about this. You are really detaching from the emotional state that you were in when you were experiencing the situation. Don't be too hard on yourself. We all make mistakes and it's easy to judge ourselves in hindsight, right? But when we are in the situation, it's just impossible to anticipate every potential outcome. There is something here that you really wish you could forgive as well, but you're just finding it hard to do so. And so you end up inevitably carrying around this burden made of the disappointment that this person has created for you. And that's why there is need to communicate here so that you could release some of this burden. But again, it's not easy. At this point, it's not easy at all because there is a lot of fear. There is a lot of fear here and we need to understand why. We need to understand what this is about in order to fully unlock the situation, okay? Let me get also this 10 of wands right here because it's that, oh, look at this, three of swords. Now we're starting to see what the issue might be, but let's keep going with the clarification. Let's clarify the current energies. I do believe with the seven of wands, there is something you're ignoring, something you're leaving out of the picture, but that instead you should look into. Let's see what that is. Aha, uh -huh. five of ones, difficult communication, nine of ones. How many ones did you get? Seven of swords. Now I see. Now I see what's going on. It's clear that you are afraid that you're going to say something wrong. Honestly, this current clarification could actually apply to either one of you. It might be this person wanting to come in and say something that they wanted to say for a long time. But for the sake of the reading, I'm going to say that this is you. Feel free to interpret the direction as it best resonates with, with your own situation. Right here, Leo, I see that it's almost as if you feel that you have only one opportunity to get your point across. We see, though, with this Five of Wands that you're afraid to get into another conflict. You do not want to get into a confrontation right now because you're exhausted. Right here, you're wondering... What if this person misunderstands what I'm going to say? What if they say something that will make me even more disappointed and that will add to this baggage that I'm already carrying around? What if this is going to escalate once again? It feels as though the both of you might now be stuck in a cycle of delay, avoidance, silence. And here's the thing. Difficult conversations are essential, Leo. If you cannot express your needs and your concerns, you will never resolve any issue. And this comes from someone who's not confrontational at all. And I pay the price for it very, very often, okay? Instead of focusing what could go wrong, focus on what you're trying to do here. You're trying to connect with them because Either you still care or because you're looking for closure. Share your intentions with them. Don't approach this as if it was a battle, you know, because it doesn't have to be. Don't think that as soon as you get into this conversation, immediately it's going to become a battle. It's not. If you approach it the right way. Look at me giving all good advices and then I'm not following them <laughs> for my own situations. But, you know, whenever you have a friend who comes to you and they're going through a lot, what do you do? You try to be the voice of reason, even if it, at times you know that it's hard to apply. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do here for you, Leo. But let's see what we have in the near future. Let's clarify the near future energy.
Okay, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, oh my god. Oh, and the Ten of Swords, but I'm glad. I'm glad of this Ten of Swords because now at least we see that we are at the end of that heavy cycle. Oh my god, yes. Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. As I thought at first, there is something here that you are letting go of and you immediately feel better, much better. I don't see yet how this is going to happen. And if you're going to like what the other person is going to say or do, we'll look into it. But for now, that's not the main point. In fact, regardless of how the conversation is going to evolve, you have finally released something major. And you're not in that waiting state anymore, hoping to reconnect, hoping to interact so that you could finally let go and get your redemption moment, you know? We'll see what exactly is happening here to make you feel this way. But what's important to know right now is that now you're free, Leo. And we see that you're proud of yourself again. I see it with all these pentacles energy. You feel stable. You feel that this is finally here to stay long term. Proud of not wasting time trying to fit something that does not fit. You realize here that you often surround yourself with people who you eventually clash with and you're just deciding to choose better for yourself from this moment forward. The Six of Swords, moving on from conflict, internal conflict, external conflict, just moving on from those people that always put you in this situation, that always create the same dynamic for you. From what I see here, I don't think that the other person wants to let you go. I actually see them pretty shocked at your new approach. And chances are that they're going to feel even more attached to you now than they did before. So I think we still have a lot to look into, Leo. Let's keep going with your reading. For now, suffice it to say that it's just a matter of time before you finally release this burden that has been slowing you down, whether you knew it or not. Don't give up and don't torture yourself. Easier days are definitely ahead of you. Now, let's keep looking into this incoming energy to see what you should um, expect from this and what you should expect on your journey. Now that you're not burdened by your own thoughts, your own regrets, and now that you're not in that waiting state anymore. Let's keep going. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, Leo, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal live 45 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning to confirm Make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Often I get answers from you guys after weeks and the schedule is booked. So make sure to check out the spam folder too. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Leo. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the incoming events, the Ace of Cups. This is really funny to me. You know what the Ace of Cups talks about? Great communication. Quite the difference from everything we've seen up to this point, right? The Ace of Cups talks about um, focusing on the positives. You realize here that you are more in control than you realized before. Right here, you understand that even in a complicated conversation, if you keep a very, a very um, calm, attitude, if you really try to get to the truth of the matter, the other person will not have the possibility to just ignite that spark, ignite that fire, and then making the conversation escalate. Right here, you're saying, yes, this person might say or do the wrong thing, but I'm going to stay calm and I'm going to really show them that this is not triggering me anymore. And if they're saying or doing the wrong thing, they are the ones at a loss because they're losing me and I'm not going to chase them anymore. So right here, we see that you have a feeling for which you're saying, you know what, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. 
um, whatever will be, will be. Sarah, Sarah. Solving issues before they're solved because you're solving them yourself. And this is when you're really releasing that emotional baggage to start fresh. It's very important right here because potentially some of you are even forgiving this person. And keep in mind that forgiveness, it's never for the other person. Forgiveness is for yourself so that you can release that baggage, move on and just let go completely let go and instead of focusing on what you're leaving behind focus on what, what's coming next so i like this for you but let's look into the details of it the first thing that i want to see is this conversation let's see if there is anything you important you should know about the conversation then we will see how your journey is going to evolve the fool right away okay hey, so once i pride told you Yes, definitely pages, messages coming in. We're starting to see the conversation coming in and there is something very particular about it that you should know that I think you're not expecting at the moment. What we're seeing right away is that this person is coming in 